Mercicon Companion initiated the Apple project in 2005 with financial support of Mercico Phoenix Fund. The project is implemented in two villages of Tamga and Tosor, situated in picturesque surroundings on the southern shore of Lake Isikul. In Kyrgyzstan, home gardens account for approximately 50% of agricultural production, surprising since the average size of a home garden in Kyrgyzstan is less than one-tenth of a hectare. The main source of household income is from sales of home garden production. Here are some statistics from Tamga and Tosor. We receive income only from selling fruits and vegetables during summer and fall season. To buy produce in Kyrgyzstan, wholesalers and processors must work with the multitudes of households and often do not know the amount of available produce in advance of their arrival in the villages. This is frustrating for buyers because it is costly and time-consuming. Therefore, they purchase apples from China, but in some years this means that nearly 50% of local apple production goes to waste. To win back this bias and gain market leverage, households must work together. The Apple Project Team, or TAP for short, facilitated a new system of organizing and gathering marketing information and selling. In Kyrgyzstan in general is access to modern equipment, access to pesticides, herbicides if people sh should choose, but even access to if they would like to do integrated pest management or more organic methods of growing, they need to have access to new information about doing that. So actually the quality of the fruit being right now is not the greatest. Um, so then what ends up happening is when they're trying to sell this production is um, they have a high rejection rate for their products. Companion hired two agronomists to conduct trainings and horticultural consultations. The agronomists provided training and hundreds of individual consultations for project participants and other residents of Tamga and Tosor. TAP designed and conducted seven seminars open to all village residents. Themes were determined according to the garden's natural yearly cycle. Recommendations incorporated the technology available to the average household so they could immediately implement what they were taught in their gardens. The agronomists evaluated participants' gardens and found that they had changed their behavior and adopted new techniques. Seminars helped us and we learned a lot. Before, we only knew how to plant. Now we know how to prepare a soil for planting, what seedlings are needed, time for planting, how to care. We want continuation in other villages too. Thank you. Good results. Last year Rashida was very small. This year, after we pruned in the spring, Rashida was very big and good quality. Project taught us. This year we even could sell our apples. Getting communities to work together on common interests is called mobilization. For TAP, mobilization began with a horticultural training for village residents. Recording apple yields and documenting how they use their yield was an important next step for mobilizing households. Record keeping and planning supports the development of business behaviors among households and facilitates village mobilization. When residents see better quality apples and record the higher prices they for these apples, they see the benefits of working together. People must cooperate for the selling their yields. There are many good people, but there is lack of information here. The information about other villages is needed. It is good climate here and the potential is very high. Positive things about, about the villages are that development that happened in people. So after transition, there was a realization that, okay, what we had is not here anymore. Now this is what we're doing. I have to be a farmer. 
two community initiative groups with elected leaders, one in each village, were formed and are legally registered. TAP staff train and works with both community initiative groups to help them to set and prioritize their goals, develop their charters and work plans and launch their activities. Campanian found bias in the capital city of Kyrgyzstan for the apples from Tamgay and Tosor. TAP facilitated the sales of 41 tons of top quality apples and 77 tons of apples for juicing to three stable buyers who pledged to return in 2007. Prices for these apples were 10% higher than general market prices because of quality. Long-term relationships with buyers is an incentive for people to grow better apples. It will help to decrease yield loss and to increase incomes and it will positively affect the overall life of villages in the region. Now we do not worry. In the past buyers cheated us. Here we negotiated a contract and have a guarantee. We try to choose better apples now instead of selling all of them. And we can do it in another way. Here are the results of the 2006 sales. Not only did average household income from the sales of apples increase by 30% for project participants between 2005 and 2006, but the productivity decline of their gardens was halted through better horticultural practices. This storage facility was built in Soviet times. It operated two years. With Union collapse, the storage was abandoned. We need this storage now to store our apples. As a part of the Apple project, Mercico and Companion renovated the central collection and storage facility. This was an important component to help the villagers sort, grade and pack produce in accordance with the standards acceptable to buyers to attract them back to the Kyrgyz apple market. To ensure that recommended horticultural techniques could be performed, TAP distributed essential garden tools to the 200 participating households. A new credit product with a repayment schedule that coincided with the income from the sales of apples was developed by Companion for the purchase of fruit tree seedlings. Overall, 49 people borrowed a total of $2,816 to plant over 4,000 new seedlings. All loans were repaid on time and in full.